Welcome aboard the Art Express for a tour of the art world. I'm Paul Larson, your conductor. The train's leaving soon for Terrebonne, Quebec, where vocalist Steph Kars tells us about the first time he sang in front of a crowd. It became something I got very addicted quickly. We'll follow his career toward a new musical direction. A singer from Quebec aims to benefit the world with his talent. Whether he's creating songs that raise money for charity or inspiring listeners with an uplifting message, performer and composer Steph Kars says he hopes his music will motivate people to reach out for goals beyond their imagination. Vocalist Steph Kars sings arias on the stage and pop songs in the sea. The singer idolizes Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli. But at the age of 17, his eyes were fixed on another singer. I was in love with Olivia Newton-John. The teenager left his parents' farm near Montreal for the big city of Los Angeles. I said, well, I'm going to go there. I had her address that I found in one of those magazines. I said, I'm going to go to California. I'm going to meet her. I'm going to marry that girl. I'm going to sing with her. <laughs> That's so funny. And then I got there. Actually, I did. I left home. I was 17. I got there. I got stood in front of her house, hoping that she would come out. You know, but she never did. And then years later, I read that uh, she wasn't even there. <laughs> she was in Australia somewhere. <laughs> but when I got back home, after my great disappointment, um, I said, well, you know what, let's get serious about this. And I started, that's when I started to be serious about singing uh, in more of a professional way. By the age of 19, Kars had fans of his own. Ladies and gentlemen, Stan About 2,000 saw his first concert in a park near Montreal. She's It's almost a nightmare at first because when you're not that experienced and you're just starting and you see this huge crowd and you say, oh, well, I'm about to sing for them now. So you really get scared. You want to make sure your voice is going to be in shape. But the moment you get on stage and the moment you start the first song, you really get into it and then you forget about the crowd and the only thing you want to do is just to please them and just to give it all. And it's, it, it just it became something I got very addicted quickly. Many of his early songs attracted an audience of French speakers in Quebec who enjoyed pop and country music. In the mid-1990s, Carr sold 400,000 albums and was booked for 250 shows a year. I got a lot of fan mail, over 80,000 pieces of fan mail, and, and I thought to myself, well, if I can do that here, I would like to do it somewhere else. But a move to Nashville in 1997 didn't bring instant success. After a year, I, uh, I had a lot of hard time. I ran out of money. It was, it was really hard. I had to live in my car for a while, for three months at least. I would sleep there, and then I was working during the day. I didn't tell anybody. But, I, you know, go to a friend's house and take a shower there or at the gym. And, um, and I was living at the, uh, the dollar menu at <laughs> Wendy's. 
So <laughs> I know everything on that menu, I tell you. But um, so it was a tough time, but I think it, it made me um, a, a, certainly a better songwriter cause, and, and, and uh, at the same time a better performer because you got a story behind you. Carse's networking landed him a project in 1999 when a music producer asked him to record a song to raise money for the Special Olympics. The singer had grown up in a home that hosted mentally challenged kids. So I said, can I write something? You know, can I just not just sing, can I write something about that? And they said, sure. And I wrote the song Freedom. I grew up with those kids, and they're very pure at heart, and, and, and they become part of your, your family. They're like your brothers and sisters. And then when, when I shot the music video, um, I invited one of them to be part of it. I was climbing a mountain there just to show that uh, for the song Freedom, you know, I, I wanted to do some mountain climbing. And he was on top, and he was so afraid that I would fall. It was, it was beautiful to see that kind of caring. So they really become part of you, part of your family. The Holiday Heroes album raised more than $2 million for Special Olympics Canada. It also included music by Leanne Rimes, Donna Summer, and actor Kevin Bacon. Later in 99, Carr sang at Universal Studios in Florida at an event originally intended for Andrea Bocelli. The pop and country singer performed an operatic song for the first time in public. It was a turning moment. Because um, after that I said, oh, you know, I like doing that kind of music. I would love to do that kind of music and, and then maybe insert the opera into the pop. More performances followed, including 36 shows at the Stardust Casino in Las Vegas in 2004. His concert received a five-star review in the Las Vegas Sun. In 2005, Kars was composing a series of uplifting songs for an album he knew would be titled Reach Out, but he was struggling with the lyrics for the title track. Whose broad stripes and broad stripes. Then he was invited to sing the Star Spangled Banner at an American Red Cross convention in Florida and impressed the National Red Cross chairman's mother. And after I performed, she said, she said, you, su you should do something for the Red Cross. You should do something that, uh, write something for them. Uh, I think I could hear you do something for them. So, and I said, well, you're just giving me an idea. I have a song called Reach Out. Do you think that would be fitting? And she said, Reach Out? Are you kidding me? That's perfect for the Red Cross. So I said, well, let me give it a shot. And so I got home, very excited, and, and, and I said, well, I think I know what the song is going to be about now. The Red Cross was reaching out to victims of Hurricane Katrina, three days after Kars had handed his new music video to the organization. They say, well, can we use it? I said, absolutely. And then I, I, I said, not only use it, I'm giving it to you. <laughs> I, I, this video, this DVD is yours, so you do whatever you want to, you know, to generate some funds. The American Red Cross of Central Florida receives 100% of the proceeds from the DVD single, to support programs and services. Reach Out has become a Red Cross slogan and the official thank you song for volunteers and donors nationwide.
I believe that when you look at what's going on in the news, you are bombarded with so many bad news that you end up believing that the world is a very ugly place. When in fact, when you tr get to travel, you see there's beautiful places, there's beautiful people. So I wanted to do something, to, to show something positive. And, and uh, yes, it is a beautiful world out there. And, and, and we can rise above the chaos. And I think what you say to yourself is very important. And, and um, what you, for me, it's music. So what I express through music is very important. It has to be uplifting. The Reach Out album has songs about personal empowerment and dreams coming true. When your spirit is uplifted, you, you have a feeling that you, you can accomplish something. You can go somewhere, you can do something. And I think that's the power of music. Climb every mountain, walk every stream. The power of music lifted the spirit of a woman who met Kars at an album signing in Quebec City. Some of the music was playing in the background. You know, we had the music playing. And she said, I don't know who you are, but I love the music that I'm hearing. There's an empty place where you love Feel my life. The woman later sent an email to Cars's fan club, a message that reached the singer. She'd written about his recording of No More Boleros, the song she'd heard at the signing. And then she explained to me that uh, she just found out that week that she had cancer in uh, a terminal phase. and, and, and um, She's a dancer, and when she heard that song, No More Boleros, it just touched her heart. And then she emailed me saying that um, she wanted to retire from dancing, and she asked me if I, she could use the song as their last dancer and her husband. It's a very sad story, but it, it's just beautiful to see how the music spoke to her. And somehow, I think music d does give hope to people. And I just I found out um, what I did after that. I, when I came back to town and do a, did a television show, I invited her on the show. And then I sang that song for that lady. And it was just a beautiful uh, moment to be able to bring happiness through your music. I think, I think it's, a, it's a gift to be able to do that, to justify why you're here. I'm really grateful for that. Carr says he's grateful to have a career doing what he loves. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain. He's also grateful he recently met his idol, Andrea Bocelli. But he hasn't met the love of his youth. Olivia Newton-John. Maybe one day I'll meet her. Who knows? The Steph Kars concert and music video special, Reach Out, will air immediately following Art Express.